This is the brand new Shake Me 1932 Ford 5 Window Coupe being driven by Tom Mintz on a packed in Illinois, a supercharged Chevrolet Big Lock. This thing has been incredible in preliminary action, Shelly. Well, you know, he's only 21 years old, and his sponsor, Sam Beck, has a lot of confidence in him. That's for sure. They put together one of the strongest machines they could imagine. Uh, like I said, a supercharged 466 gb and Chevy Big Lock on alcohol. Two-speed power glide transmission. He will shift it at about the seventh foot marker on this 80 Our 1,500 horsepower of Chevrolet. Jim Harris, the event director, right there, as well as the paramedics and the safety crew. Mintz has motioned to him that he is okay. He says this won't let him back over. He had his bump up and out of the car. He's like, I'm sorry. He's like, I'm sorry. He sure gave the crowd a scare, but the minute he got up, he got quite an ovation. Listen to this. And on the run, completely sideways at the finish line, airborne and on his head. 2.20 seconds. He's up and walking. Look at him. Absolutely unbelievable. That's only 17 hundredths of a second slower than Tom Martin's quickest run ever. Look at that young man. Look at that young man. 21 years old on a 2.20 second run, absolutely incredible. And here's the slow motion replay, the machine at half track just blasting across the mud. Look at the tires just skimming the surface exactly the way it should be done. Now it starts to bounce around and hook to the left. You can see him working the steering wheel in the cockpit, trying to keep it straight. He stays full throttle through the shutdown area. The kill switch hits, cuts the motor. But look at this thing. The rear end literally seven feet in the air, and here's the landing that put him on his head. Man, what a ride for this rookie. This is something that he'll have to call home and tell him about. I'll tell you, though, is that a classic example of the stringent safety safety requirements these machines have to have, or what? I'll tell you, the U.S. Auto Association safety regulations are what allowed Tom Mintz to walk away from that crash. Well, I'll tell you, Jim Harris down there on the floor, our technical director, is, uh, he supervises all the safety activities here, and that little extra time sure pays off. There's no question about it. We will be back with more championship action from the Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania Civic Arena. Believe me, it will get wilder. Here at the U.S. Auburn Association, Monster Truck and Mudbog Championships will be back in a moment. <laughs> 